Have you ever tried to put a PDF on a Google Jamboard frame? Well, Jamboard does not have a direct way of putting PDFs, but there are alternative ways in which you can get your PDF onto Jamboard, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So here I have Google Jamboard open, um, and I want to put this PDF into the Jamboard. So the way I'm going to do it is I am, if I want to put just a partial PDF onto the Jamboard, I can take a screenshot of it. So for instance, uh, I can, uh, let's say I want to take uh, this portion uh, uh, screenshotted, then I can just use my screenshotting tool on my MacBook. And this is what I'm going to do. We just take a screenshot and I can go back into Jamboard and set the background as a custom image. So you click on set background and then now you can select the image uh, screenshot that I just took of the PDF and click open. Now this sets the image as the background on the uh, screenshot uh, of the frame and I can use a pen to write over it and explain over the PDF. So this is one way of getting a PDF, just taking a partial screenshot of the PDF and then posting it as the background image for the frame. Another thing, you know, what if I only want to use the entire PDF uh, as a background image? For that, I use a tool. Uh, I'm going to use PDF to PNG. And here, this is a website that lets you uh, upload a PDF file and it returns uh, a PNG file or an image file that you can use as the background image for your Jamboard. So uh, I go to pdf to png.com and click on PDF to PNG. Now I click Upload Files and I select the PDF that I want to convert to image and click open. And it takes a few seconds. And once it's done converting, I can I can download the file. Select the destination folder to desktop. Okay, now our image is ready to, to pull into the Jamboard frame. So I go back to Jamboard and I click on set background, click on image, click browse. And I select the entire PDF image that I just created and click open. And now you have the entire PDF as a background image for your Jamboard frame. And you can write over this. The best part about using uh, a PDF, uh, an image as a background is you can't move it. So you can share it with people and they cannot move it because it's part of the... A third way to put a PDF into Google Jamboard. And this is the, a method that's only available on the Chrome app of Jamboard. So you can use this on Android, you can use this on iOS, and you can use this on the Chrome OS app. Uh, you cannot use this on the, the Jamboard web app. Uh, so the way you do it is you, you go about, you, you put the PDF in Google Drive, and then you, you pull the Google Drive document into the Jamboard. And the Chrome app for Jamboard provides a, a really nifty way of pulling uh, Google Docs into the, directly into the Jamboard, which I'll show you in a second. So you click on this, the plus icon on the top, on the bottom left, and select the PDF file that you want to pull into the Jamboard. So I have this PDF uh, pulled up here, and I click on Select. And that brings the PDF uh, into Jamboard. And I can double click on it. And I can open it, and I can pull the PDF out as well. And I can expand this out as an image. So this is an alternative way of bringing PDFs into Jamboard. So to recap, I've showed you three methods of getting a PDF into Jamboard. One is you take a partial screenshot of the PDF uh, using the screenshotting tool available on your computer. And then you, you can use the uh, that image as a background image for your Jamboard frame. The second method I showed you was using PDF to png.com to convert a PDF to uh, an image file. And that this is helpful when you want to get the entire PDF image as the background. Uh, for the Jamboard frame. And the third method, which I just showed you, was to uh, pull in the Google Drive document, uh, which is the where the PDF is stored, and then incorporate that directly into uh, your Jamboard frame. And the third method is only available on the Chrome app or the iOS app or the Android app. So I hope this helps.